children. It usually starts with intoxication, <laughs> followed by impregnation, and then a long and never-ending period of brocation. <laughs> Let us start first with procreation. <laughs> children. The fruit of our loin, our seed, our lineage. That which carries our family name marches our DNA into the future and is the lasting marker you ever existed. Children, God's gift to mankind that has no receipt, no 30-day return policy. You break it, you own it, children. Woo! <laughs> Before we discuss children, let me throw a thought on the table. Why have children? I mean, if you think about it, the whole sordid process kind of goes against all reason and logic. <laughs> and yet as human beings, we walk into this life sentence and we don't even think it through. <laughs> all right. Out of you young single women in here, who's never had a baby before? Applaud if you've never had a child, girls. Applaud real big. <laughs> oh, Barbie's never had a baby. <laughs> No wonder you're so thin. <laughs> what is your name, sweet pea? Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> well, of course it is. <laughs> <clears throat> You've never had a child? No. Lindsay, would you help me out with this? Okay. Lindsay, <laughs> for sake of argument, let's say you're a normal woman. what if as a complete stranger I walked up to you in this parking lot out here and said, Lindsay, I'd like to come and live with you for the next 18 years? That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Why? Because you don't know anything about me, do you, honey? No. You don't know anything about my personality, my habits, my temperament, my personal hygiene. <laughs> and Lindsay... I told you in the 18 years of living with you, I can guarantee you the following things are going to happen. Guaranteed. That from day one to five years, I'm going to poop, piss, and puke on everything you've ever owned. <laughs> that within those first five years, you're going to get a maximum of two hours sleep a night. Never get to finish a phone conversation, a shower, or a bowel movement. Motherhood sounding good so far, Lindsay? <laughs> now, honey, from five to seven years, I guarantee you I will embarrass you in public by saying the word penis <laughs> in church. <laughs> now, from eight to 12 years, I guarantee you I will embarrass you in public by showing my penis. <laughs> in church. <laughs> now, from 13 to 18 years old, I'm going to consider you the dumbest woman that ever walked this planet. <laughs> yes, because I'm a teenager and I know everything. And suddenly, you're an idiot. <laughs> you know what, Lindsay? I'm not even going to pretend I know you when I'm at the mall with my snotty little bratty girlfriends. <laughs> Walking around, being rude to people, flipping my hair, saying whatever. <laughs> Drinking my $25 Starbucks venti latte, half a soy mocha choca doka. <laughs> Until I need money. Oh, Lindsay, I'm going to need me some money. <laughs> And girlfriend, I'm going to beg and nag you for money like a bum on an interstate off-ramp. <laughs> now, Lindsay, at 18, when you think this hell ride we've entered into is almost over, and I'm about to walk out that front door, I'm going to turn to you and go, oh, by the way, Lindsay, I need $60,000 <laughs> so I can go to college and learn how to bounce a quarter into a glass of beer. <laughs> Welcome 
to our nightmare. <laughs> Trust me, Lindsay, after a month of living with me, you'll suck out your uterus with a dirt devil. 